Now Wildfire is one of the most talked about restaurants in Sydney, so I thought it was about time that we paid them a visit. And why is it the most popular you might be thinking? Well, let's take a look around and we'll find out why. It's not just the gorgeous harbour views and glamorous interiors that make Wildfire so popular. It also offers a vibrant and fun atmosphere with cocktails and tapas at their Ember Bar. Now it's time to talk food with the head chef Kevin and the pastry chef Lee. We'll start with you first. Now I've been eyeing off this grill all afternoon. Tell me about the cuisine that you've got here. Um, the, main majority, the main actual thing about here at Wildfire is the um, churrasco, the Brazilian barbecue. So it's uh, basically a concept from Brazil where they just um, all the meats are cooked on a rotisserie yep. machine and they're actually brought around to your table freshly on the skewers and sliced at the table for the people to enjoy. Oh, fantastic. And you've also got the open plan kitchen? Yes, the open plan kitchen so everyone can see what's going on, all the chefs as Keep the atmosphere is going. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and make sure you're being well behaved. <laughs> now what have you made for us today? Uh, today we've got ourselves the, uh, this is off our entree section, the um, wagyu, shishimi wagyu. Yep. With a um, nice uh, truffle, truffle mayo. A um, miso, which is a uh, Korean sort of a um, soup stock Beautiful. jelly. Truffle salt in the centre, just a nice contrast to the actual flavour with the meat. And just a uh, fennel and tarragon salad with a uh, blood orange juice reduction, just as the actual dressing. This is our uh, marker fish, which we have uh, each day rotatively changing. This one today is actual, um, we've got ourselves a prawn uh, mousse, just a nice little prawn mousse in there with the actual julienne of um, vegetables. A um, rich tomato, um, it's almost like a beurre blanc in the basing, yep. with the um, broom fillets, which we just wrapped around, pan fried them up nicely with nice little flavours of Moroccan flavours of coriander and uh, caraway. This is our textures of veal. This is three different variations of um, veal meat, where we have the uh, veal fillets just wrapped with um, pancetta, the actual um, veal cutlet, which comes from New Zealand, which is called a bobby veal and also the uh, veal backstrap, which we've just um, flattened out and wrapped around a chorizo sausage to give a contrast of flavours. And then just a balsamic reduction with uh, panchana crisps. And then the actual sauce itself is a uh, red wine and sherry wine reduction with um, broad beans. Just a nice little contrast in flavours. Thanks, Kevin. Now I have to find out all about this dessert and Lee, you're the man to do that yes. for me. Talk me all through right. it. Uh, this is my version of a tiramisu. Um, on the base, we've got a cocoa streusel. Um, topped with a coffee ice cream. Uh, then the three types of balls on there is a mascarpone ball, coffee chocolate ball, and a pistachio um, ball. Um, the jelly is a amaretto gelatin. Um, we've then got the lady finger in a finger form, which has just got a bit of cocoa powder in as well. Yep. And then I've got a white chocolate caramel scarf, which just garnishes the top. Now the churrasco begins with the tapas, but the best part about it is that the seafood and the meat is all you can eat. Let's keep it coming. 